Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times. We have stumbled into a beautiful Monday morning. That would be the last Monday of uh, the summer of 2021. And uh, wow, what a summer it has been. Do we wrap this up tomorrow? Let's see, today is Monday, September 20th. I think tomorrow is the last day of summer. So obviously, you know, one thing you can say about the summer of 2021 is that uh, there's no denying that the summer of 2021 has finally woken some people up to about uh, the state of the planet at the end of 2021. And it is, of course, it is the young people. The young people. I was reading some survey where 74% of people under the age of 18 say they are concerned about uh, about climate change. They're concerned about their futures. So I said, okay, I'm uh, thinking finally we can let Greta Thunberg's generation save the planet. So right here in the mainstream media, uh, this is just, I, I, I can't let this one pass without uh, cheering on those youngsters so this is what is going on over there in England, uh, probably coming to the U.S. We have a new youth movement in uh, England as all of the uh, young people taking over the reins of this planet are uh, getting serious about tackling climate change. This is from Insider. Take it away, Insider and explain to us how young people are saving the planet <clears throat> and their own futures. I'm just going to read this article. A TikTok trend called beaning, called beaning, where users pour canned beans on doorsteps has reportedly led to police warnings about young people buying large quantities of cans of beans. So uh, I was just did a song last week about grab your beanie weenies because we're so fucked. Uh, yeah, so it looks like the young people of England are uh, taking my advice to grab their beanie weenies while they still can uh, and enjoy it while they still can. And uh, I, I'm glad to see the youth of England grabbing their beanie weenies while they still can and enjoying it. Um, all right. So what is going on over there with these concerned young people? A viral TikTok trend for pouring canned beans on people's doorsteps has led a British police force to issue a warning to shopkeepers to beware of young people purchasing large amounts of beans. Hmm. The trend, which creators have unofficially dubbed beaning, is marked uh, on the video sharing platform TikTok with hashtags like bean bandits, get beaned, and bean attack. Across all the various hashtags, the beaning trend has amassed millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes. Com I was completely unaware of this. Beaning actually dates back to April when a TikTok account called the Bean Bandits posted a video that showed people pouring multiple cans of Goya beans on a doorstep. In an on-screen text, the account wrote, quote, we just, like, we beamed someone's front door. Yes, here is one from the 
mid not midnight menaces hashtag we are menaces to society the beaners the this reminds me if you ever saw that that bill hicks clip uh when he was over there in london talking about uh about rubbish cans about gar about uh you know how it's big news in england every time a a young ruffian upsets a rubbish tin uh i would love to hear bill hicks uh commentary on the beaning <clears throat> all right the last frame of the clip showed a doorstep and doormat that was covered in an avalanche of red yellow and orange beans with what looked like potato sized brown beans stacked on top yes the tip talk which used the Bean themed rap song Beans as its audio has garnered over 200,000 likes and has been viewed over a million times. The trend appears to have accelerated recently following the Bean Bandits lit uh, TikTok, which they shared on August 31st titled Bean Bandits Strike Again. This clip showed an array of open bean cans which were emptied onto a doorstep in the dark. Yes, the video which used another bean themed song titled Bean and Lean has also garnered almost 200,000 thumbs up and over 1.3 million views. Yes, other creators on TikTok have started beaning in September, including the account Bubbler Bean Bandits, which posted a video on Wednesday that has already been viewed over 10,000 times. Yes, that 10 second clip showed two people pouring beans and Coca-Cola on a doorstep and then sprinting away from the scene. Yes, uh, TikTok previously removed the video from the platform. Yes, okay. The Manchester Evening News reports that Michelle Owens some cop with the West Yorkshire Police Force made a statement about the rise of beaning, urging shopkeepers to, quote, be aware of youths buying large quantities of cans of beans, and adding, quote, if you have children living at home, please be mindful if you see them removing cans of beans from the family home, close quote. In uh, mid-August, the police force for Surrey County wrote a statement on its Facebook page saying there were reports of people pouring beans on doorsteps and on cars in the town of Wunerish. Yes, the post attached two images, one showing four empty Heinz bean cans strewn on the ground and another of a car covered in beans. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, share that with you uh, before I head out into this gorgeous day to do some... Uh, I guess some docking, getting rid of this nasty noxious weed, but uh, I am so happy to see that the young people, the Greta Thunberg generation, have it all under control. Who's that? 
We have someone arriving at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It might be the Bean Police. Is that the Bean Police? I didn't do it. I didn't bean anybody. I grabbed my beanie weenies, but I ate them myself. Got me hungry for some beanie weenies. Let's go make some beanie weenies for lunch.